Hey guys, this is your daily dose of crack. I am the show. Today we are going to continue on with uh, Zelda Skyward Sword. Hopefully this will be the last time I ever have to start from the menu ever again. But uh, if not, then whatever. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Anyways, we got cutscene to watch. Putting on my booze. Putting on my putting on my shit. Putting on my uniform for kicking ass and chewing bubble gum. <laughs> it's kind of weird that Kipor is kind of watching us put on our uniform. He's just sitting there. Mm, you put them boots on real nice. Mm, 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 child. <laughs> That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. <laughs> it's funny, because I was. <laughs> if my sole purpose is to wear green and have old swords and stuff, take care on your journey and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. Apparently we're going to be traveling a lot. Whatever. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You're always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda sh shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. Alright, so, uh, I don't know if I use the same voice for Gabora. It's been a while since I recorded. But I don't care! <laughs> We're going to open this up and get ourselves a blue rupee, because whenever you start the game over, you can pick up these five rupees whenever you want. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. Heading on. Heading on. Shouts. I don't know how I'm going to voice this guy. He's like a clown type thing, so maybe like... That green uniform looks so adventurous, you should look like a knight now. That bastard is entering your head and go to look for Zelda! You're really something else! I could never imagine myself doing what you're about to do! I put a lot of work into making this! You should take it with you! You got the adventure power! You can store all kinds of useful items in this handy piece of gear! Oh, I thank you, sir! I like a breeze, sir! Dig it! I like how you can see it on his, like, butt. By the way, I'm totally looking at Shots' butt, which I guess means I'm looking at my own butt. But you can see it! I swear you can see it! I'm pointing at it like you can see it, but I'm pointing at it, so I know where it is. You guys might not. It's an adventure pouch! It's for adventures! It's neat because you can fit full things in there that you need in your big journey! You can buy all kinds of stuff in the bazaar that you can put in this pouch! You should go look! You can buy some potions and a shield! They fit the pouch and they might come in handy on an adventure! Shots, I just know you'll find Zelda for us! Alright, you sound like you have a lot of faith in somebody you probably shouldn't have any faith in, but it's okay, because I'm going to try my dangdest to find little Miss Zelda, which I guess she's not actually a princess in this game, which is kind of odd, actually, because in every other game she's a princess, but in this game she's like a normal person, at least until later. Hey, spoiler alert, nigga. I heard the news, Shots. Zelda's fallen down through the clouds, and you're going to look for her, is that right? By the way, I wanted to talk to this guy. The headmaster told me there's land beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about that? So that's the famous sword. Hmm. But it won't do you much good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Yeah, take this with you. You got a wooden shield! This light wooden shield breaks easily and can burn, so be careful how you use it! I should do, like, weapons with Shots. I should bring that back. <laughs> Just talking a crazy voice. Oh my god, it's weapons with shots! Let me know if you guys want weapons with shots back. The wooden shield is light and maneuverable, but it's the weakest of all the shields. Also, keep in mind that it's particularly vulnerable to fire. If it breaks, you can buy one at the bazaar. To equip the shield, hold blah 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 and point blah 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 with the Wii remote. Talk about uh, <laughs> breaking the fourth wall. How do you know what I'm using to play this game? If you're not sure how you use how to use a shield, Knight Commander Aegis at the sparring hall will happily teach you. Mm-hmm, yes, quiet. Indubitably. Uh, me and, uh, hold on. Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. The column of light has appeared to the south of our location, and signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. I must also caution you that descending to the surface, armed only with a sword, would result in decreased probability of survival. If you have not already done so, I advise you to purchase a shield and potions at the bazaar in preparation for your journey. 
I've done the subject to discuss matter. Master. I don't know why I said matter. I did that. I did that on like a practice recording as well. I'm a fucking idiot sometimes. Once you are accustomed to the controls, you are free to modify and change the odd screen interface. Which, uh, I'll explain this to you guys in a second, because she does a horrible job at explaining what the interface is. Essentially, you see that giant Wiimote on the side there, and the Z to look and C to back and Z to lock on stuff. Yeah, I don't like any of that. It looks bad for recordings. I personally am not a fan. So I'm going to go to my favorite, which was the Twilight Princess interface, which is just the light one. So all I see is like I could talk to Fi, my A button, my map button, whatever the minus button does. doesn't really matter all that much. Um, yeah, just there you go. It was beeping. I didn't know it was beeping, actually. So I guess we should put a shield on. But yeah. That's essentially, uh, I like it this way. You guys don't have to play with it this way. This is just my personal preference, and the only reason I prefer this way is because, um, well, for the biggest reason, it's just, uh, it's not as much shit on the screen. I mean, throughout this game, I'm going to have a lot of shit on the screen anyway, so it's just kind of good to minimize that. Oh, that's a wooden shield. You can use it to block and repel attacks. You must be careful, though, as it will break if it takes too much abuse. Oh, and don't forget about fire. It will burn quite easily. It's an unfortunate property of wood. It could be yours for 15 rupees. <laughs> Care to buy it, friend? Sure, why not? You got a wooden shield! I like to have two wooden shields because, again, they're vulnerable and they break easily. So, I mean, you can't really go wrong with having two shields, I mean, that's just logic. Alright, so let's talk to this girl now. Hey, you there, yes, you, the adorable boy with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop, you can drink our potions when you're injured to fill up your hearts, yay! You're one of those nights, aren't you? Or one in training at least, hmm. Let me tell you, and look at you, and I can tell you, you'll need my potions by the cauldron full, so don't try to slink away without stocking up. Oh dear, I forgot to ask you if you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour it into. Ooh. For some reason, I like you though. Ooh, ooh, all the girls like shots. I like you though, I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the stall. Oh, it's nothing, it's my little gift. You won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things besides potions in the end, and blah 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 blah, so it's a useful thing to carry around. Hmm. Give me an empty bottle! By the way, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I'm definitely doing the butter butter da da way earlier, so it's not like desynced or anything, I'm just doing that on purpose. Empty bottles! Blah blah blah! Shut up! What would I like to buy? I'd like to buy this purple stuff. No, oh, it's grape drink. I want that purple stuff. 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 Give me that purple stuff. What is it like? Kool Aid? Give me some Kool Aid. Uh, I'm gonna get me some Kool Aid. <laughs> That's from the Boondocks. I don't know how many of you youngins have watched the Boondocks, but it's a show I highly recommend if you enjoy your daily dose of racism as well as crack, because that's what the Boondocks is full of. Actually, it's like an anime about like it takes stabs at like American pop culture and American like Black American, the Black American, the Black the Af yeah the Black American no the African American um. The African American culture just kind of takes stabs at it, as well as taking stabs at like the normal American culture. But uh, anyways, we are going to head off that way. Why am I going this way? It doesn't matter. Let's go off here. Oh, stab at a berry. I don't want to talk to you, little boy. You're gonna tell me something about Beetle's airship, and I just don't give a dang. What do you want to say, Fi? That's the, the color of light is visible from here. I can, I can see it. I can totally see it. Why, why, why with the cutscene? You dive off the ledge and call your loft away from here, where you can see the column of light. It is time for you to set out on your search for Zelda. You can call your loft away from the way. Really? Like, I didn't already know this? This is what you needed to tell me, you dumb, dumb hooker? Okay, so I think after we see cutscenes and stuff, I think I'm gonna end the video. Just so I can keep it kinda not so lengthy like the last few have been. I'm gonna try to keep it like under 10 minutes, maybe. We'll see what's good. Do 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 do
Sorry. <laughs> oh man, okay. Best the shots observe the green pillar before you as a call of a light and marks the point at which you can descend to the surface. I understand this! Why? You can confirm your current location on the map. Please see where you are in relation to Skyloft. I see, okay, cool. <laughs> I saw I came, I went, okay? God, shut up! It appears that you will be able to reach the surface by passing through the portal of the clouds at the call of space. Alright, we'll do, bitch! We'll do! So, uh, I, I was trying to say something earlier. I don't remember what about. I think it was about me and Chicken Pete at 12. But I don't remember what I wanted to say about me and Chicken, Chicken Pete at 12. So, uh, if I come up with it later, then whatever. But there's a shout out for Chicken Pete at 12. He's doing a let's play of Soul Silver. I've been in a few Donkey Kong 64 parts. And I believe he's also doing Mega Man X. So go check that shit out, because Chicken Fajita, Chicken Vagina is quite hilarious. And I don't mean like Tyler Perry hilarious. That's kind of lame hilarious. I mean like, I mean like Jim Carrey hilarious. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, Tyler Perry's really lame. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna spit it out there. Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry's pretty lame. And now, you also notice how it says, like, skip two at the bottom. It's because I've watched this cutscene before from uh, pre-play. I didn't know it saved that you'd actually watch the cutscene, so that's my bad. This is the fabled surface that has long been part of Skyloft legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Okay. So it's basically just... Uh, maybe it's one of the, like, seven... Wonders of the world or something or other. That's probably what it is. Yeah, that's apparently like just a big ditch in the forest area, I guess. I guess that's all it is. It's just a big ditch. Okay, come on. Please proceed with caution, master. Okay. Alright, guys. Well, uh, this is where I'm going to end it. So, uh, next time, we're going to eat babies. Bye.